do you guys uh, work on? So up here, you guys see this fraction, or this complex fraction. What you see is there's multiple fractions. Fraction here, fraction there, fraction there, right? And then there's actually one big whole fraction, right? So there's one, two, three, four like total fractions. It's a lot of fractions. Too many fractions, in my opinion. So the way that I like to approach these is just like how we approached last class period. Let's get rid of the fractions. To get rid of the fractions, we need to multiply by the LCD. So if you guys look at this, we can identify the LCD as really just the product of these two because this can be factored down into x minus 1, x plus 1. Right? So I can identify the LCD as being x minus 1 times x plus 1. So what we're going to do is I'm going to multiply everything times x minus 1 plus 1. Now, I'm not going to show my work of actually rewriting this as the product of each one, but I'm going to talk my way through it. If I multiply this times that, remember, that's in the numerator. So if I multiply this times that, you can see the x plus 1s will divide out, right? So I'll be just left with 2 times x minus 1. If I multiply this times that, you can see the x minus 1's divide out. So I'm left with x times x plus 1. Notice how I'm still using my parentheses, right? Because I want to make sure I can apply distributive property. In the denominator, when I multiply this times that, you can see that both of these divide out, and I'm just left with a 3x. Yep. How do you do that? So the bottom of the RAB, 1, 3, I mean, yeah, because x minus 1 divides x plus 1, x plus 1 divides by x plus 1. Uh, like the bottom part, all the denominators will be gone when you do write or distribute. And you multiply it by that one. Yes. Term, yeah, I mean, denominator doesn't go away. I mean, it's the, you still have that, 3x. Right. Now we can just apply distributive property. And so this is 2x minus 2 plus x squared plus x over 3x. And then we can just combine like terms. And I get a x squared plus 3x minus 2 over 3x. So that is my simplified answer. You could use equal signs if you want, like this is equal to that, which is equal to that, which is equal to that. But now we got to talk about the restrictions. So the restrictions are what are the values that make the denominator, or what are the values that x cannot equal? So we look in here and we say, well, x can't equal 0, because that makes that denominator 0, right? So that is the restrictions of the simplified expression. But we also have to go back to the original expression before it was simplified. Remember, this is kind of like the solving. You've got to go back to the original. What are the values that make the original function undefined? 1 and a negative 1. So the restrictions of the simplified answer from this one is x cannot equal 0 and plus or minus 1. So wait, so the restriction for simplified not, cannot be restriction for the original, right? Yeah, I mean, you have to include both. Oh, so Those are the restrictions of the problem. OK. okay? So you have that problem. So you, you, or you could, or from the onset, you could have said, if you look at this problem and say, OK, I know x cannot equal plus or minus 1, right? Without even doing anything. You, you can find those restrictions. Yeah. And then once you simplify it, you say, oh, and, and after I've simplified it, x cannot equal 0. So you like include them all. Oh, okay. okay? 